Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. <laughs> I just said about 100,000 microorganisms into the air, and I'm going over today's science file. How do we know that bacteria cause infection? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a rotten apple, a fresh apple, and a toothpick. Today, I am going to show you that bacteria spread. And not only do they spread, they infect. So, you're going to get yourself a healthy apple. Uh, I got mine for free. It helps when you got a neighbor with an apple tree. <laughs> Next, you want to get yourself... Ew, one of these rotten apples. Oh man, if you think that's disgusting, you should smell it. <laughs> now you are gonna get yourself a toothpick. No, 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 the toothpick is not, you know, for cleaning your teeth. <laughs> no, you're gonna get the toothpick? <laughs> it's taped to my thumb, people. <laughs> and you're gonna poke the toothpick into the rotten apple, and then you're gonna poke the toothpick into the fresh apple. <laughs> this sit for you know like a like a couple of weeks oh by the way do not put this in direct sunlight and you, you probably you know you probably don't want to place this in your house either because the rotten apple is going to start to stick whoa now check that out the spot where we poke the apple has rotted that's the only spot on the apple that has rotted now that's so wicked cool so why does the apple rot in only that spot and how do we know that bacteria are causing the rot? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The reason the apple rots is because of microscopic bacteria in the rotting apple. When you poke the rotten apple with the toothpick, some bacteria are transferred to the toothpick. When you poke the fresh apple with the infected toothpick, you transfer bacteria to the fresh apple, which begin to rot the fresh apple in the spot you poked. Bacteria is the reason why the apple only rots in the spot you poked with the toothpick and nowhere else. Antony van Leeuwenhoek was the first human to observe microscopic organisms in water using a microscope in which he made improvements on during the mid-1670s. Although van Leeuwenhoek didn't think that microscopic organisms were the cause of disease. Germ theory, or the scientific fact that microorganisms are the cause of disease, didn't come along until the mid-1800s. Robert Koch provided the best evidence when he noticed that anthrax spores given off by the anthrax bacteria could become active and destroy cells. It's because of men like Leeuwenhoek and Koch that today we can help prevent the spread of microorganisms as well as stop the microscopic organisms from making us sick. So now you know more about infection. You know, infecting an apple is why science is so cool.